So to start out in the in the feed no feed issue, um, a lot of times I think we we make decisions on preponderance of evidence. So you know how many signs or symptoms are on this side of the ledger and how many are on that side of the ledger and and we sort of weigh those, which which weight of the evidence is is um, a lot of times I think influence, it should be influenced by what the literature tells us, but it's also, I think, the third thing on there, clinician bias, where you have a mindset of certain characteristics of patients that you've seen in the past right. that, 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 that literally lead you down a different pathway, right. and, and ours <clears throat> may be different. So. Yeah, I think you know, bias is an interesting issue because it's based on experience. Uh, it's based upon uh, your confidence in yourself as a clinician mm -hmm. and being able to make judgments. Mm -hmm. uh, it's based upon the situation, um, whether you might make a decision to feed a patient initially mm -hmm. and follow that patient closely and say, hey, this yeah. isn't the best way to go and mm -hmm. have to shift course. So. I, I think as clinicians we really have to learn to accept that with this patient group in particular, is that the, what might be the right way in the beginning mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily end up being the right way and you have to be open to that sort of you know right. pathway. Mm -hmm.